What is going on boys and girls of YouTube today? We are taking some forklifts, some forklifts from Flagstaff to Montrose. It's probably going to take us about 26 minutes, 25, 26 minutes, something like that. It's about 444 miles and we are doing it in the Freightliner Cascadia. A truck I have never used before and it looks very good in here. I must admit, I've never been inside one, I've never drove one on this game. It looks phenomenal. And this is the route that we are doing. So we are going from Flagstaff, travelling down the 89, onto the 160, through Cayenta, carrying on onto the 160. We're still carrying on on the 160, onto the 491, back to the 160. Onto the 550. Look at this for intricate driving. And then we carry on all the way to Montrose and to. I'm not quite sure what that place is called. Um, off the top of my head. I think it's Walbert. But I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to jump into the game. Look at this dash. Yo. I have never used one of these. And this dash is superb. I love that. I absolutely love that. Right, let's get on with the journey then, shall we? I have never used one of these before and I might have to use I might have to actually get one now after seeing this. That looks incredible. I can't believe this dash. I've never seen a dash like this. Bit of a jolty jolty there on the steering wheel. Right then. Have a quick look both ways. Oh, can't really see anything either way. So we're just going to go for it, I think. Make sure we can swing this bad boy around the corner. Please don't hit anything. Well done, Ash. Well done, you're learning slowly. You're learning. We're going to look to go for this. There's nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. The copper might not be too happy that I make this maneuver before he does. But sod him. So yeah, some ATS action today. We had uh, we had ETS yesterday. How did everyone find the ETS episode yesterday? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the uh, the premise that we're only allowed to use heavy haulage? Well, I say heavy haul. I said um, I said anything over twenty ton, didn't I? So did. Uh, does everyone like that idea? Like, are you looking forward to it? No, I'm not sure how traffic lights work here, because he just turned right on a red on a red light. So I'm not really sure how they work. <laughs> America for you. I'm not really sure what goes on over here in how you drive. Although if somebody could explain the right hand on a red to me, that would be like superb. It is something I could do with learning. Because I wouldn't mind going to America at some point. I think that'd be very cool. I'd love to go down Route 66 or... You know what I mean? Something like that. Go to New York. But, like, I, I reckon I could do, with like, six months in America. Just to see what it was like. I think that'd be awesome. I love this, I love this dash, I think this dash is superb, I've never drove in a Freightliner, and this dash has made me fall in love with it. Honestly, I do, I think this dash is superb, I've never seen it before. Uh, we've got, uh, the actual truck we've got that I use personally. 
in the game is a Kenworth W900. And I never even considered a Freightliner until this moment. <laughs> the, the, the Freightliner looks awesome. Yo, I can go 65. What is the... I didn't check. I should have checked. I don't know what the race mile thing is for AC, uh, ATS. I'm sure it's 68, is it? feel like it's 68, something along there. I don't really know. I love this dash. I, I just can't get over this dash. Uh, I know to everyone else that's watching. Like, that is completely normal to them. It's a normal thing. They've seen it before. They're not overly bothered by it. But for me, who's never drove a Freightliner on this game, who's never seen this dash before. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I love it. I think it's superb. I know uh, uh, just one thing can really like can really set a truck apart just one thing and it's not even something external I don't even know if I like the truck externally I haven't had a chance to get a bit of a straight to actually have a look at it yet but based on the interior my next truck might genuinely be a Freightliner this is incredible I just love it, the dash, the dash feels properly like something I'd be interested in. Like, if you just showed me the dash to this, I'd already say I'd drive it. I'd be like, yeah, I'll drive that. That looks good. So, when you're basing stuff just off the dash, it makes you feel like the rest of it should be really good. We are turning right here. Let's give way, but I can't see nothing coming, so we're just going to carry on round. We're going to see if we can get some speed up now, like... Really, uh See what this this fray liner can do. We have got a bit of a straight here, so I'm gonna have a quick look properly. And it's one of them modern looking trucks which we know I don't overly enjoy. We know that from what I've drove in the past, it always seems to be the box shaped fronts that I tend to enjoy driving, and not necessarily the The, uh, the more modern looking trucks like this one but I must admit I am really enjoying this one it feels good and ever since I fixed how my steering wheel is supposed to be it feels fantastic to drive the trucks now it doesn't feel like I'm driving with no power with, with no power steering almost. It feels like I'm driving with power steering again. So I definitely think I was having issues. I definitely hadn't installed my steering wheel properly. I'd messed it up and done it properly. I thought I had and I hadn't. And now that I've got the proper drivers for it and everything else, I yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's much better. And the fact that I have force feedback properly now 
I thought like it was just hard to turn because it's because they're trucks, they're heavy. But it's not, it's it's genuinely down to the fact that I didn't have it installed properly. And now we have quite nice on the steering, it's quite loose. You know what I mean? It feels good. And when I go over stuff like this, you can see the steering wheel vibrating, look. The steering wheel moves on its own. Quite jolting. See, look. I didn't have that before. So now you can tell when I'm... You know what I mean? That's brilliant. That force feedback, I haven't had that before. On, there, on these games, so very glad to get the, the steering wheel sorted and we've got it in a good place now and I hope you don't pull out on me now because I'm coming around this corner and you are definitely stopping which is good I know it's another desert scene but there's not a lot I can do about it when you're taking quick jobs I could use my good W900 and do some jobs myself, but we're sat in California in the W900, so it's going to be the same stuff anyway. I might as well do some quick jobs, have a look at some different vehicles that we might not necessarily have seen before on the channel. Like like this one, the Freightliner, excuse the burp there, but like the Freightliner, I've never, like I said earlier, I've never used one. It looks apart, I'm really enjoying driving it. Obviously, I think it'd be better if I could set it up how I want to set it up. But, just based off this, really enjoyable. Looks and feels the part. It looks great. It feels great. Now, I was supposed to do a special transport one for today. But, my... <laughs> the convoy leader sort of... Well, he sort of just stopped in the middle of the road and didn't move and in the end that, that, that footage was defunct I weren't able to use it um, he just wouldn't move any further I don't know what happened to him he sort of glitched I think so we were having to do this journey with the forklifts instead so I'm going to try and get a special transport one for you in the future that light has just changed we're at KM2 already No one here. Can we, can we go? See, I like like what's over the road now. That that over the road. That's a sort of truck I like. Why why are you people able to turn right? I don't get it. Everything's on red. Why can you turn right? The rule is so odd, you know. I've not quite worked out why it's like that but I don't know American rules in terms of the road so I'm going to say it's more my fault why are you slowing down oh is it because we're going back into what, the single lane oh no now you're speeding up I think the road's about to join into one, isn't it? Yeah. Yo, what are you brake checking me like that for, man? There's no need for that. I wish the AI was slightly more intelligent in these two games, though. I will admit. I do wish it was slightly more intelligent than what it is, but... You can't ask for everything, can you? You can't have everything. And I'm just happy enough to be playing the game in the state it's in now, like, you know what I mean? Like, where else can you drive a truck? Quite happily, with no, uh, with no sort of restriction, so to speak. Like, it's amazing how well this game's done, like, it's so, it's 10 years old, you know what I mean? Well, ATS isn't 10 years old, but ETS is. ETS is 10 years old, and the work that's gone into both this, both ETS and this game over the last 10 years has 
been incredible on by SCS and incredible by the lads at Pro Mods as well. What they've done at Pro Mods is just completely changed how good this game is. Like, I am a thorough believer in Pro Mods and SCS working together. Like, SCS could make so much more. so much more map content and road content just by getting together with the lads from Pro Mods. You know what I mean? I know the lads from Pro Mods are mostly volunteers. In fact, they are volunteers. But even so, like, it would be good to see them work together a lot closer. Like, maybe bring in them back it bringing promods into the mold would be superb for the game i think i don't know how financially that would work but i i do genuinely believe like that that would be superb oh i gotta pull it of course i have of course i have why would i not Yeah, so we're all good. Yeah, yeah. Right, as I'm coming off this road as well, so at least I ain't got to worry about getting me speed back up because we're coming off the road now. <laughs> Actually have to check after this how much these freight liners are worth. I really like it. I really do like it. It's not often I find one I find a truck that I really like. I'm going to have to find out what constitutes as race miles and what constitutes as real miles on ATS. If you are watching, like, you, can you drop it in the comments? It would be massively appreciated. I really feel like I should already know it. In fact, I should already know it. What I'm saying about I should know it. I, yeah. I should know it, really. Look at this. scenery in these games is superb like I don't think there's anywhere that looks exactly the same like, the work the guys do is incredible now there are a couple of DLCs that I am missing for ATS I am missing the Montana mod the Montana DLC, and I am missing the Texas DLC. I want to say, or is the Texas DLC coming soon? I mi and I think I'm missing Wyoming as well. So I'm missing a few DLCs, and I'm hoping when I get paid, I will be able to to get them. In fact, I will be able to because I think that week that I get paid is the Black Friday Steam event. Which means I'll, I'll easily be able to get them, which would be great. Be awesome, that will. Which way have we got? We've got to go straight over. And then turn. Okay, we've got to turn left. There is a lot of cars coming. We'll get down into. Yeah. 
か。どうでしょう。I don't wanna go for that. I don't think that's a good idea. I can't see nothing coming that way though at the moment. Are you letting me go? No, you're not letting me go. We're gonna have issues here now, aren't we? Oh, sod it. I'm just gonna go for it because everyone seems to be wanting to let me go, so I'm just gonna go for it. I might have pulled forward a bit too much there, but this is the stuff about the AI that annoys me. Like, I was nowhere near far enough forward for it to not be okay there. You know what I mean? Get the lights on. Let's have a look at I don't know how it looks with lights on. Yeah, looks alright. Looks how I expected it to look, to be honest with you. 24 degrees Celsius. This is saying I should be going 45. I'm currently sat at 52. Now it's saying 55. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I can bypass superb. Oh crap. No one here, man. Come on. I sit and watch that. And that turns to red. That will mean this turns to green perfectly. Yo, you brave! That car was brave, Jesus Christ. Come on, Cascadia. Get up here. We should be going this way. slightly over the speed limit. In fact, we're going to be massively over the speed limit now. Are we going to get over this on green? That is the question. No, we're not. Of course we're not. Why would it let us go over this on green? Why would it do that? Of course it's not. Ah! Isn't it mad when you look at something and you see the car there? I thought he was coming into the side of me. He's turning red. Long yellow. No. Okay. Not quite yet. He wants to race me. Go. He will beat me. Not beating me. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Put the high beams on so we can see where we're going. Yeah, he's miles back. We. Right, now this does say 65 miles an hour, however I can see from the, the, the GPS this is not going to be uh, easy to do. At uh, 65 miles per hour. Well done, well done. The 
Cascadia is flying up it beautifully. PEA beautifully. Yeah, that was a bit sharper than I was expecting. Turn these off. Look at that. It's a shame we're doing it at night because I would love to see the scenery as we go with this. The old state trooper in front. Don't want to hit him at any point, Baxon. Ringo. That's not the right turn I thought it was. We are turning right here. We are allowed to go, so we should probably go for this. Right away. Beautiful. Down. Wonderful. So it is tight look, a little bit tighter when you're not driving, which is how it should be, and then it goes really loose when you start to drive again. I definitely have it set up better now than what I did beforehand. I'm in the right lane here and I'm fine here. Yeah, both both lanes turn right, so we we should be good here. And we can eventually go. Why did no wait 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 why did nobody move then? Got, a, got them two buttons the wrong way around on this game. Why did nobody move then? I don't get it, why did nobody move? Nobody moving again, look. How much can I go back? And then can I pull out of here? I can, okay. Now that we are out of there, yeah. the idea is when it goes green next time, I'm just gonna shoot across the other side the, from the other side of the road. Like now, nobody's moving, so I'm just gonna go for it. Because otherwise, we're gonna be stuck here while the AI shits itself completely. And that's not gonna be very fun to see and watch, is it? Just the AI shitting itself completely right there. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. I wonder if it fixed itself after I moved off. Oh, 
Oh, it's taking ages to get through here. It's getting frustrating. It's almost as bad as real life. I hate traffic lights. Uh, especially ones that, like, red, 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 red. We all want green, green, green. I don't mind green, yellow, green, yellow. Or green, red, yellow, green, red. You know what I mean? But not red, 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 red. At every set of traffic lights I come to. Red. Okay, let's go. So, what is your favourite truck in ATS? Do you have a favourite truck or do you play with every truck or do you literally have specific ones? What for rocks and wildlife? Okay. Now, do you have a specific truck that you always use? It is the truck you use and that's that. This is a mountain pass that we're not actually going to get to see any of. Speed limit of 50, that sort of makes sense. Because it is 20 to 11 and there is no chance of it being light at any point, unfortunately. We're not actually going to get to see any of this. This, uh, this mountain pass, which is a little disappointing. I'd have liked to have seen some of it. Now it's saying 45 miles an hour, but we can't even hit 50, so... This might be a bit tight. I shouldn't need to use the brakes to slow down. It feels good. And we are round, nice and easy. little thing that is why would you why, why would that be needed we're about five minutes away from finishing this job now I'm running out of, how am I running out of fuel Sixty-eight miles to go in fuel-wise. Ninety-nine miles to finish the journey. So we got plenty of fuel to get to the end of the journey. I'm open. Oh lord, look at the squiggly road we gotta go down next. In the dark. Wonderful. I somehow don't see me using cruise control around all this. Going back down the mountain pass. That's what it looks like. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Could you imagine me trying to do round go around this at twenty miles an hour? I'm going around here 27 now. Even that felt slow, 32. It's telling me I should be going around it 25. Sort of just 
following him. I assume my trailer's just been on the dirt a little bit there. Quite a nice road. I like it. I like this road. We still got loads to go with it. I don't think it'd be too bad if we weren't stuck behind this tanker. I reckon we'd get round it quite quickly. But this tanker's not going round it very quick at all. And we haven't come across anything coming the other way yet either. This is basically a right angle. Beautiful. Another tight round one and then we should be down the mountain pass and be able to pick up the speed to get going. I want to swing the truck out onto the other side of the road simply for the fact of my my trailer every now and then I can just hear it going onto the dirt. Still at 25 miles an hour. We are. I feel like now that we're down this bit, maybe we should be going quicker. There's 60 miles left to do. Following the slowest trucker in the world. Oh, somebody's going up it. I bet it's harder to go up it, you know. I mean, we had quite an easy way to go up that. Going back the other way, that's got to be much harder, surely. Incredibly slow going though. Discovered a new viewpoint. Go for a little cave. So we're obviously still coming down here then.
beautiful, nice and easy, does it? I think this tanker's a little bit nervous about this next bit. Right, is it a tanker's cement mixer? Cement mixer. Slowed down even slower than what he had done previously. I love the fact there's no traffic lights here as well. It just does. It just seems dangerous as. Although I suppose this is only a small little place, but it looks good. Being a small little place, I suppose they don't need traffic lights, do they? Because they can see everyone. <laughs> right, we're starting to speed back up now, which is good. Speed limit now of 50, beautiful. And we are nearly there as well. 14 miles to go. Shame that most of it's been in the dark. I reckon uh, it'd have been nice to have seen that uh, that route in the day. But we can always go back and do it again in the in the in the day. At some point, I'm sure. Someone stop there. I wonder why. Here we go then. Nothing coming. No dodgy AI today like in yesterday's video where we got hit by that vehicle. We didn't have that today. Nice and easy on the journey today. No issues at all. And there it is, Walbert. They want it parked over there. I love the fact it doesn't even give you a chance to park, or it says, I'm sure you don't want to just skip. We do not want to just skip. We are there. Oh, that's awful. That's awful parking. But it's where it should be, so it'll do. The Freightliner. Beautiful vehicle. I think I'll definitely be buying one of these just for this dash. I think this dash is superb. Maybe, maybe not so keen on the brown, but the dash is superb. Let's drop these lower legs and get this job over and done with. And VEA useful. It's done just like that. Nice 15,000. 
into the pocket. PEA, useful. And that is going to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you tomorrow for hmm, maybe some ETS. Who knows? Have a good one, guys.